Okay. All right. How's it going, everybody? I wanted to do one more video for the night, and I want to talk about EQ. Now, I just wanted people to be able to, to relate. For those that never worked on a console and worked in a DAW, I'm just, I just want to make a video how these correlate between an actual EQ on a console or for those that have worked on the console and are getting themselves to start using DAWs and and I just wanted to see because both of these are going to be familiar to both worlds people that came from an, you were working on the analog console and in the uh, console world working on analog console and then those that are used to working on a DAW and using maybe plug-in EQs like this as an example I have Cakewalk pulled up and I have one of the EQ from the Pro Channels pulled up. But there are a lot of um there are a lot of similar um there are a lot of similar plugins that are like this. So moving to the console, for those in the DAW that's never got the chance to work on a console and not familiar with the, the console layout of EQs, whenever you open up a plug-in most of the time they're already set um and i'm moving these all to the 12 o'clock a lot of times we call this um resetting the board or zeroing out the board or whatever at the 12 o'clock on this particular console you have four frequency bands that you can play with except the the high and the low are fixed eqs the low, this one's fixed at 80 hertz and the high is fixed at 12K. But the mid high and the mid low are sweepable. How you sweep those is with these green knobs. And there are frequencies that you can sweep. It allows you to sweep all the way up to 15K and all the way down as low as 500 hertz on the high mid. And then the low, you can sweep um, up to 1K and it's down as low as 35 hertz. There. So, when you're using these to sweep, when you're using these to sweep, these, you're, when you use this to sweep, you're sweeping these um, are the volume controls for those sweepable EQ uh, bands. So you got two sets of bands that you can sweep and then you can boost or cut the volume of those. These two volume bands, the high and low, are fixed. 12K and 80 Hertz. So when you sweep the mid-high and mid-low, it's the same. If I come over here, it's the same if, if I was sweeping... Um, let me move my e. It's the same as if I was. It, this will represent that high, and I'm going to move this to 12K. So that would be like 12. About 12, because there's the number right there, 12,000. And then this one set this low. Is set. It's already at 80, so I'm not going to touch it. I, I already touched it, but it's already 80. So on a, on a con on that Allen Heath console, this Allen Heath console, my high is set to 12. Right, and my low is set at at 80. So in the DAW, these are the high. The high here and the low here are st also sweepable because so sweepable means that you can move just like you can with the mid high mid low you can move this you can that when you're moving it like that you're sweeping you're just sweeping between frequency bands as you can see here you're just sweeping you're, you're sweeping you're sweeping between uh, certain frequency bands I want to sweep, so so if I was to go 
you know, for example, 250, right? Here, or around, you know, whatever it is, is 250. That's about 250. And then let's say 2K, I swept up to 2K. Well, to do that on the console is the same thing. I would come over here on the console. Where's my 12 o'clock set? I would come up to 12K. So I would sweep up to 2K. So 2K would be about right there. That's about 2K. And then I would sweep to about 250. There. So that would be 250. So this setup here would look just like this setup here. Now, uh, to adjust volume, when I just increase or decrease the volume, for example, let's say I want to boost, uh, let's see, 3 dBs of 2K. So I'll boost 3, it, it will do look like that. Boosting 3 dB. Um, and let's say I want to cut 250. So I would bring that, that would cut 250. So that would bring that would drop. So on the on the console, that same trick would mean that once I set my frequencies here and here to to cut 250, I would just turn this volume down there, and to boost 2K, I would boost 3 dBs according to the knot. There's lines on here. There's lines right here for you to tell you how many dBs you're cutting. Let's say I want to boost on the 12K. I want to boost that 12K about 4 dBs. So it looked like something like that. Or let's say I want to boost the 80 Hertz about 2 dBs. It looked like that. Well, the same thing on the console. I would come up here and boost about 4 dBs by turning that knob this way. And then the same thing. I would come and turn this knob that way. That So that correlates... The console correlates to what you're doing in a DAW. And of course, you know, if you can want to add shelving, you can add shelving and so forth. On this console, I believe these are already the lows and the highs and they're already shelved according to the symbol. So they're already shelved. Um... So you can see how in a DAW, you can have more flexibility uh, on like a console. Because uh, I can change the bandwidth and I can do a lot of things like change the bandwidth to see how much I want to, you know, if I wanted to change how much I wanted to and so forth. The same thing with the low end. I can change the bandwidth how I wanted to affect the bandpass. But that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to show you how in a in a DAW how it would look in the plug-in form versus how it would look on the console. Um, and that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. And that's it. We'll, we'll talk more in depth about this in future videos. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great one.